Would you commit murder here? Put the gun away, Mr. Clements. I'm sorry. Come, man, show you to a cell. When you have slept a while. I won't stay, Father. I can't trust myself under the same roof with Rocco. But you can't leave on a night like this. There's a train back to New York at 9.21. If you wish. Mr. Clements, I would like to tell you something. Before I joined this order, I was in the war. You were too young to have taken part, weren't you? Yeah. Then you have never seen a man die by your own hands? Not yet. Mr. Clemens, I received a decoration for killing 11 enemy soldiers. If there is a weight on my conscience, it was not put there by my country or my church. Most of the things that you have lost, Mr. Clemens, your job, your girl, your self-respect, can be replaced or recovered. But neither you nor I, Mr. Clemens, can now or at any other time give back the breath of life. Remember that, Mr. Clemens. Remember it. Because you never can forget the face of a man you've killed. Come along, Mr. Clemens. Come along.
you're reaching for a gun, Clements, don't. I'll kill you before you can get it out. Fun, sir. Sure. Did you think a crack over the head was going to stop me? I didn't worry about it. You're an amateur, Clements. I wasn't out five minutes. It made you, Mr. Train. But I caught the streamliner. First time it stopped here in four years. I figured that you had too much of a head start on me, so I waited for you to come back. How'd you do in the monastery? I got in. Of course. That envelope was just as good as a ticket. I suppose they all took you for me. Not for long. How's Dave? Would they let you see him? He hurt his back. I wasn't able to see him. Oh, too bad. And I won't have time to drop in. But they gave you the money back, didn't they? Why, sure they did. That's what the letter said. Dave wanted to give it back. <laughs> I want it, Clements. No. I won't do any arguing. Toss it over. Good evening. Uh, who's in charge here? Father Vincenti. I wonder if we could ask him a few questions. Yes, I'll take you to him. Father Vincenti? Sorry to disturb you, Father. Well, tell me, what is it? What's happened? There's been a shooting down at the railroad station. A man named Floyd Unser was killed. Please come in. We're pretty sure you can help us with this, Father. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, according to the station agent, this man was killed by a young man who visited the monastery earlier this evening. Now, who was this young man? He was Ray Clement. Why did he come here? I can divulge nothing except that his visit here had absolutely nothing to do with Mr. Unser. But, Father, Tell he was... me. What happened to Clements? Well, he got away, but we think he stopped a bullet. We figure this is the only place he can come to. Well, he isn't here. But we're going to have to look anyway. Well, he, he might have slipped in without anybody seeing him. You're free to search anywhere. We will not interfere. Thank you, Father. Got to tell him. It's so cold. I'll take you to him, Mr. Clemens. Father Vincente, I got to tell him. Do you, do you think you could get to your feet?